Hello and welcome to Geeked Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll look on a little bit more advanced workflow inside the world machine and as well to create additional materials and uh, maps that we can go use it inside the view for echo system distribution. As example, we're going to create a swamp area. Okay, right here we have it, our basic setup and this is I preset and save it as my workflow so every time when I start new it's loading this way you can create a same preset that you use it mostly and save as your startup project and you can check our tutorials discovering world machine to see how it was done so right here I have it my lab and what I want to do it is look on a Perlin advanced parallel noise right here and we'll start working with this so right here is my settings and I'm going to set maybe this one down to a little bit smaller scale okay we're also going to sw switch to smooth rigid smooth rigid to have it nice on top not too sharp just a little bit flatten so it's create a very nice effect as well let's pop up elevation a little bit higher maybe about this one and take stepness as well a little bit up so we have a nice kind of looking ridge effect so we're going ahead and um, click OK now next what I want to do this is overall look maybe uh, kind of roughness I also want to control and create as a swamp area a little bit smooth areas for my um, effect so for this one I'm going to create new generator or noise and we're going to use it Verni. so Verni is very interesting filter because you can use it in so many options and we'll just go ahead and make it smaller okay if you want it you can always play a little bit more with the shape see which one shape you like best and right here kind of below look okay next I'm just setting up all the same things we don't need to use any distortions it's look about the same let's click OK um, one thing about this filter right here if you look it's got a little bit sharp edges I don't want them too sharp I want them blur a little bit down and for this of course we're going to use it filter and we're going to use blur filter let's connect in blurred filter you can play around with different settings and you can see how it's smooth like right here very nicely and so probably maybe just be sharper so I'm going to leave about the settings right here it's look very good maybe you know a little bit empty on the up front so I'm going to maybe randomize a little bit more on my seed to kind of find something that look like this that one look good okay so we have something on the middle and what I'm going to do is take this one connection and use it as a mask input so look right now what do we have it we have it now these areas it's where I apply our blur so we have it those effects of pearl and start appearing so it's look very um, Kind of like almost already heals but we still have these details that Perlin provide for us the next what i want to do it is um start working on selecting some areas like in these panels right here which is the high areas and think it will be loading with a water level so we can increase decrease right here i want on the middle have a small bumps so i want plants distributed on the middle of the paddles to do this we actually need to go and can select some height and do some advanced stuff so first let's go work on the um, overall look and for that actually, let me create one more blur right here okay and this blur I uh, just want slightly to use details because again remember it's a swamp and even I like purling create all these bumps but I want them little bit slim down so they won't be as sharp in this case 
Okay, now let's go to separate and extract these areas. To do this, we're actually going to use its selectors and we'll use it select high for that. So let's go connect again. Okay, and right here in select high, I want to go all the way down and select lows, very low. So we have it at zero meters. And you know, maybe this is about right for now. We'll see if we want to modify. But right here, this is low area, it's what I want to select. Okay, next, let's go ahead and now I want to create dots in these areas. To create some distribution randomly, we want to actually use it, the probability. Let's say what is that. Probability will take area where we specify and we'll create some distributions based on this. So we're going to open and prelog. So right here, base, let's take this down. I don't know how much will look, maybe just a little bit like this. So we have just a few points. Okay, and maybe just barely take some string a little bit down. Okay, I think that is good. Okay, you can see what we've done in those low areas right here. This is areas low right here, those areas. areas. We actually placing some uh, points and this will be playing as a distribution for me where I'm going to place plants on the middle of those. Okay, so, but there are sharp points to make them a little bit smooth. Let's go use another blur and um, we'll just probably just maybe set to about five should work very good. Okay, so right here we set the next, um, I want to combine them, but I want to also apply some erosion so all this effect. And um, to do this, let's go ahead. We'll create new generator, advanced perlin. But I will take this blur and right here, see how we have a map. I'll take that blur and connect to the map. So now, look right here, we have this nice points just in the area where we specify. You don't necessarily can you need to use just in this scenario, you can use it in your own when you specify areas of the distribution, randomly distribution of maybe rocks or other place and put them there. For example, when we did like, I did some canyon one time and I want distributed some rocks on specific altitudes. So this is similar way you can specify what altitude and what distribution you want to provide. Okay, so let's go ahead right now, open our rocks and right here you see basic. I want to actually blow away, so I want to make a rock-like look. We can also go ahead and take that down so we have a nice resolution. We can bring elevation slightly down and take steppings down. So it's kind of more related like a blob of the rocks is what's happening right now if you look right here say the kind of smooth and creating rocks. Let's render very fast. So we can the full resolution see. It's look like almost some rocks will be on the middle of the panels. It's where plants will kind of growing again. It's on the middle of this. Um, next, we want to combine them together with the uh, um, to provide to, for the erosions and do this. We obviously need to go to combiner, take our combiner right here. And let's select one on top, this go on the bottom, connector erosion on this point, and in combiner, let's use add. Okay, and we can just see if we want a full string or how much we want to add. I'm just going to maybe around right here. So we can preview. Okay, let's go ahead, and you can see. What I done, I have it my um, nice smooth heels, and on the middle again we can render this point. On the middle, I create these distortions, so it's between them. So my kind of rocks were creating, and when we fill up with the water, water in the view, you can see it through those heels, and we'll just start placing plants. So it will look very nice. 
Okay, so right here, um, kind of the next, I want to actually take this and say preserve as a map. So right here, you see, I have a, my um, height maps, all is done, but I want to create one more. And as this output, I won't go use the height output. I will use the bitmap output, and I'm going to use it the converter, take colors, and I will use colorizer for this. The reason is why, because I want to be sure if we look right here, you can see that I'm bringing a little bit brighter there. So because I will use this for ecosystem distribution, I need to actually increase a little bit contrast. So with colorizer, I can kind of bring this right here and just set these points there you go okay so at this time when I'm ready to um, just select and set my names I'm rendering a TFF 16 bit so I'm going to set all my maps because that is very interesting maps the world machine produce and I want to use all of them to distribute some coloring so right here I need select div, and we'll go use it and we'll call this um, just plants maybe water plants so kind of know what is going on Okay, next let's go in our settings and I want to apply at least 249 for this. You can apply higher and again all these maps will be available in a bonus pack. So if you purchase tutorials you will have it there. We'll go now and click to build. So I'm going to pause this tutorial and come back when this build is completed. Okay, the render is completed. This took about a minute. Okay, and I'm going to export all of them so it seems like all export okay the next part let's go inside the view in our next tutorials and we'll start working in the view with this